The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 4th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question and you can't call in, you can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a mixed bag out there. The mix is going like this. The Dow's off 61. The S&P is flat. It's up one point. NASDAQ is not flat. Up a half a percent or 81 points. The Russell's not flat. It's down 14. That's eight tenths percent to the downside. Semi's up a quarter percent, about 10 points. Trend is off 81. That's a half a percent. We take a look at gold's off three bucks right now. Silver's down 32 pennies. That's a one and a half percent move to the downside. Lights recruit is off three and six tenths, down 322, trade out of 8601. You've got natural gas up six pennies, and a 30 year treasury up 19 ticks, printed at 11108. Leading the charge, dollar wise, the upside, you've got Asimil Holdings up 11 bucks. That's 2%. Tesla, about $10, nearly 4%. Martin Marietta, about $10, a little over 2%. Lamb Research, 888. That's a good number. It's up uh, one and four tenths percent. Eli Lilly up seven bucks. To the downside, it's the OIH, the Van Eck Oil Service ETF, of 12 and a half bucks. Northrop Grumman down 13. Helen of Troy down nine. Pioneer Natural Resources up. Pioneer Natural Resources down eight. And Chart Industries off about eight dollars as well. But let's begin. We saw we saw that uh, little rally inside the market. Started at 3.30 this morning as Europe was coming online. Of course, everybody out there was watching that spot volatility yesterday. Had that one-day rate of change greater than plus 10%. We get that one-day rate of change greater than plus 10%. We get a bounce or bottom during that next trading session. And most certainly, that's what we saw out there. Why did price stop where it did? Excellent question. There's a couple answers to that question. Let's go take a look at the bigger answer. And we'll take a look at the daily charts. We're going to look at the U.S. dollar index and its components out here. So we're going to switch over to that. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index. That's the bottom right. In fact, I'll just expand it out. That's the only chart we're looking at right now. What we saw, so yes, it was a very small bodied candle. So it becomes very easy to create a bearish reversal candle today to confirm a Roach momentum indicator top. This is a really important top out here if, in fact, that comes to fruition. But more important than that, it's going to be so you can see that the TD9 count was negated. I'm going to get rid of that just so nobody's paying attention to that 106.54 level. So now we've got a clean chart out here. So the key area here is going to be that oscillator and change line. Now, if you're going to ask me why does that work, can't tell you. Not because I can't tell you, but because I can't tell you. What I do know is it works. That's just like electricity. I know it works. I can't really tell you how it works, but I do know it works out there. Well, that's the same thing with this oscillator and change line. A green oscillator and change line tells you and I that market conditions for the U.S. dollar index are bullish. Why? Because it's a rising price oscillator below above zero. 
Why did I create this line to begin with? It was because I wanted to understand what a retracement was nothing more than just normal moves and wasn't giving us a change in trend signal or anything along those lines. And 106.45 is a level to be watching. Well, as the U.S. dollar index was testing a key level of support, turns out that the euro was testing a key level of resistance. And this is probably what it all boils down to, which is the euro, because it's 57.6% of the weighting inside the U.S. dollar index. And here we can see it's got a beautiful TD9 count bottom. And it did what it's supposed to do once it forms a bottom pattern. And that is take, in this case here, take price up to its oscillator and change line. Now, because it's red, it's the exact opposite of green from a meaning standpoint. From a color standpoint, I can't tell you what the opposite of red is, but I can't, or the op op opposite of green is. But what I can tell you is that the conditions here tell us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. Now, because we have a valid bottom, that puts the euro in a neutral position. Now, if we get a now today would be the the day when this pattern will complete out there, which means we could see a lower low and a TD9 count would still be in effect. You've got wave number seven as well. As long as we don't take out yesterday's low, that pattern's in place. Does it make difference that we have two? potential bottoms versus one, it doesn't matter at all. What matters is whether or not price can close above that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 1.0514. Until it does that, all rallies are going to fail as long as the dollar and the equity markets remain coupled together. Now, if we take a look at the second currency pair that uh, rejected its low out here. Now, there's no bottom signal that we have inside of the Great British Pound. None really whatsoever. However, I actually I could put an A to B equals CD pattern. So it's got a A to B equals CD pattern. If it, re it generates a bullish reversal candle right now, it's a bullish engulfing. It's a key reversal. Easy to do is that small body out there from yesterday. But the key thing here for the Great British Pound is going to be about 1.2135. Now, you can't use that exactly, but you can watch that area. Price closes above that red oscillator and change line. That tells us that we may see a further, or we should see a further retracement or rally in this case here, retracement up, rally up towards the 1.2506 area. But as long as price remains below a red oscillator and change line out here, uh, that's a bearish signal for it. That's a bullish signal for the U.S. dollar index out there. Is there anything else that we need to cover on those charts? I don't think so. So we'll go ahead and close those out. Let's see where it takes us to next. Where it takes us to next is this set of charts. So now we're down to the intraday charts. Now, the beautiful thing here about the ES Mini, uh, this morning when it formed that bottom, in fact, all of the 30-minute equity future contracts generated Rosemontum indicator bottoms at 3.30 as Europe was coming online. That rally lasted until we got to the TD9 count top at 9 a.m. out here. That TD9 count top is held. We've seen price pull back. If price takes out that high, that high being 42.82, you can expect even higher price. In fact, you would get an A to B equals CD to the upside. The NQ also formed a TD9 count top, but it negated that signal at 10 a.m. So it's, uh, it has the potential to form an A to B equals CD to the upside. It'll accomplish that task with a close above 14,850. We take a look at the Dow, also a TD9 count top. That says that the key level of resistance here for the day on an intraday basis is going to be 33,297. The Russell, also a TD9 count top. That says its high of its pattern, the level we'd be watching there is 17,4820 to the upside. To the downside, it's going to be the low of the session out there. If we see those lows get taken out, that tells us we had much lower. We take a look at these 30 minute time frame charts. We didn't talk about the yen uh, during that. Uh, well, we did talk about the yen. Another level that the yen needs to break, we can see this on 30 minute basis is 148.81 level. This is a 30 minute TD9 count breakout area. We've had price pull back and test this a couple of times out there. A very strong area of support. So if the yen is going to get stronger, meaning the U.S. dollar index weaker, you need to see a close below 148.81. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, uh, folks. We still got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. What's going on with my chart here? You've got the uh, Dow down about four, four points right now. ES Mini, our uh, S&P is up 10. NASDAQ's up uh, 121. Russell's off 12. Semis are up 21 points out here. Uh, kind of delaying this because I had to re redo some charts out here just to get going. So let's get into our next segment here where we take requests from uh, each of you out there. And the first request actually came in late yesterday. It was from Pick. He got into a, a position in Dollar General. DG is a Turkish symbol. So he's looking for a little bit of help here. Now, we take a look at Dollar General. What it actually did yesterday was it confirmed a rose momentum indicator bottom pattern. That nice little bullish engulfing candle out here. So, Vic, right now your battle ground areas, you've got support at the 104, well, let me see if I can read this, 104.61. 104.61 is the bottom of its new profile. Now, this is a slightly bearish structured profile. So, the sell zone out here, where your sellers are at, are between 107.28 and 108.62. On a weekly basis, bar number eight of a TD9 count is going to complete this week. That says next week, you could get a TD9 count bottom so long as price closes below, not a weekly basis, 115.68. The monthly chart is also completing a TD9 count bottom pattern this month. So I like the setup that we have out here. Just know that you're running in, going to run into resistance in that 107.28, 108.62 area. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Vic, with regard to that. Thanks for waiting today. Your email didn't come in until I was done with the show. So, if folks, if you are sending me an email for requests out there, please send them early. I can't control what the ISPs do out there. And, of course, if, you don't, if they don't come in on time, or I get tied up maybe with a call or something like that. You know, I'll do my best to make sure that we get to it on the following uh, trading uh, session out there. So that's it, Vic, with regard to Dollar General. S&P inside the Tiger's Den, he's got an interest inside of natural gas. So we're going to go take a look at the natural gas multi time frame charts out here. On a daily time frame, what natural gas is dealing with and struggling with, it's got a wave seven bottom. That's letter G, just a very small portion of the Chapman wave. Now what it's dealing with here, so it's we don't know if it's going to close above the 
center of its uh, bullish structure daily profile. But if it does, and that center is at 2.969. They've closed it back underneath it. That's a bearish situation. But it's still running into resistance up here at the top of that profile. So the next area of support or resistance, I should say, 3.072. If price can close above that, then what we're looking at out here, S&P, is a move up towards a 343 level, the TD9 count breakdown level. Now, let's look at the intraday charts out here, see if we've got any kind of signals to be aware of. The 60-minute time frame chart has got the TD9 count top. So I'm just simply going to expand this out. That's what I would be paying attention to, S&P. So right now, you've got a TD9 count top. Whenever you get a top, all it tells us is that price is going to or should pull back to start testing support levels. If it breaks one level of support, it should go to the next and so forth. If it just tests the level of support, rejects it, and then moves higher, in this case here, it's a TD9 count top we're taking a look at, that would be a bullish condition. It's especially bullish because it's a green oscillator and change line. Now, price has not gotten down there yet. There is at $3 even, Stephen. We're at 3.012 out here. So I would watch for that type of a test. If price closes below that, then, and if you're looking to add to a position or you believe that this is the bottom, then where that ad would come from, so the second ad would be at 2.976. That is the center of its bullish structure. I'm, I'm sorry, center of its bearish structured 60-minute uh, profile out there. So things look good. Pay attention, but you've got these battles out there. You still need that close above the top of the daily profile in order to uh, free itself up. Now, what we didn't take a look at was the longer-term signals out here inside of natural gas. There is a buy the D point pattern that is still in effect out here. That took place in June of 2023 out there, and only a close below that low, which is 2.825 for the November contract, would negate that signal. We have a bull sash candle form last week. That bull sash candle confirms a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on the weekly basis. Now, price is struggling at the bottom of its profile, which is 3.012. So you got a lot of battles out there. Do we have bottom signals? The answer is yes. We've got one on the monthly. We've got one on the weekly. The daily has got a wave seven bottom. So yes, you've got three bottom signals. Now it's all about resistance. But I think the first thing it's going to be about uh, out here, S&P, is going to be that 60-minute time frame chart. So I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that helps you out with regard to what natural gas is doing. Let's go to our next request. Let me close these charts up, out, free up some resources. But we're going to go take a look at the GDX for Hector. And Hector's question is really about the A to B equals CD to the downside pattern out there. So let me do this here. I'm going to switch over. First, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to change. Oops, that didn't work out real well. I'm going to change this to one of the next. Oh, no. What did I do? Hmm. I hit a wrong button on... Uh, on my screen out here. And so now I've got to wait for these charts to populate. Not exactly what Stevie was intending to do in going to take a look at the GDX with Hector. In fact, let's just switch up panels right now. Let's go take a look at the A to B equals CD patterns. We'll set that up on the E signal, the black background charts out here. So give me a moment just to get over there. We'll punch in the GDX, GDX, see what it is doing out here. While well, that's in place, let me get back to what I really wanted to do earlier, and that was to put Boeing in, B-A is a ticker symbol. So with regard to the GDX, I'm going to expand this out. And what Hector and Patty are looking at is the A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. So let's go ahead and draw that in. The A point, pretty easy to identify. It's the high, uh, the uh, charts that we're taking a look at. That high, let's just get this data box over here. We'll just simply make sure. So the high that formed on May 4th was 36.26. The high that was out here on April 13th, 36.10. So we've got our A point out here. It's going to be the high. Uh, so we've got that high, which is 36.26 on May the 4th. The B point, pretty easy to identify now. The mark has done all the work for us. That B point is June 29th. And the C point is a rally up into the July 18th level, about a 55% retracement. So the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern for the GDX would get us down to the um, 25.43 level. So the question is, is today's low, which is 25.62, close enough to 25.43? And that's a question I haven't been able to answer. Does it get, you know, if I'd, be, I'd be more comfortable if it got a little bit closer to 25.43 than this, but it's possible. Let's say that this is the um, A to B equals CD. It's close enough out here. Well, what's needed is a bullish reversal candle. And that's really where the question from Hector comes in. And his question is, how long, how many days after a... A to B equals CD pattern completes, can you wait for a bullish reversal candle? There is no time limit. 
Uh, his question was four to seven days. Sure, four to seven days works as well as anything, but there is no time limit when we take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern out there. So that's the first thing. The question, the second question, though, like we just asked earlier, was is this close enough? And again, until a bullish reversal candle forms, we really don't have to necessarily answer that question. I'm trying to multitask here. I'm probably doing a really poor job, but hopefully the words that are coming out of my mouth make sense. Uh, but we, so we really don't have to worry about that signal just yet with regard to the GDX regarding its buy the D point pattern because we don't have a bullish reversal candle. And that is certainly what's needed to at least confirm that pattern out there. So what we'll want to do now next, well, let me just see if there's anything on the weekly or the monthly charts out here worth noting. On a weekly chart, we have a sell the deep, we have an A to B equals CD pattern out here. Let's go ahead and type that in. It's going to come out, I believe, to the same levels. What we're going to do here is just simply, oops, didn't do that well. We're going to simply take a look at the volume as uh, price is passing that B point. Was that a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside? The answer is that B point had volume of 101 million. It was passed with 80 million. Last week was passed with 120 minute, 120 million. So yes, there's a confirmed A to B equals CD. So now, Hector and Patty, the question is, do you wait for a weekly bullish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley buy pattern? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. Let's get back to those GDX charts out here. We take a look at the GDX out here. The other pattern that's in play right now today is the completion of a TD9 count bottom. So to a certain extent, do we have to worry about the A to B equals CD pattern? Well, we have to be aware of it, but that's not necessarily what might be the bottom. It just simply might be this uh, TD9 count bottom pattern. Well, it's also wave number seven, but I think it's more like a C out here, but that, that doesn't really matter. You've got a wave, uh, I got a wave. You've got a TD9 count bottom that's gonna complete today. Now, what should take place is price should at least bounce up to that oscillator and change line. That's around 2697 or so. Of course, in order to do that, we're gonna need to see gold turn around, which means we're gonna need to see the US dollar index fail out here. Um, and I don't know. Now, on a monthly basis, we cover the daily and the week, then the monthly basis, price is pulled back to an area of support, which ranges from 2353 to 2554. So I hope that covered the GDX question for you, Hector and Patty. If not, write back, and I'll be happy to get to it. And thank you so much for the request. Let's get to Dan's request, A to B equals CD, inside the Tiger's Den. He wants to take a look at Saba. His question specifically was about the intermediate term charts. Um, and the intermediate term charts, as far as a weekly chart, Dan, it's only Wednesday. But right now, what you can see is you have what looks like a confirmed Rhodes-Mintum indicator bottom. In order to do that, we need a bullish reversal candle. At the moment, it's a bull sash. It's only Wednesday at 1130. I don't know what it'll look like at Friday at 4. But you're off to at least a good potential start there. don't know if it's um, baiting you. I don't think that it is. And the reason I don't think that it is is because we saw price pull all the way back to its daily breakout level. That was a Established by that TD nine count pattern it was also a test of a swing point. The swing point out there had volume. This is August twenty second, six hundred sixty two thousand shares. It was tested with six hundred eighty three thousand shares. So it was tested with more volume. Price was still testing that swing point. Didn't get all the way back down to the bottom of that August twenty second swing point on that next session. Price right now is trading above the top of its daily profile, which is 1763. So that's off to a good start. And that says that maybe what Saab wants to do is get up to 2180. Lastly, on the monthly time frame chart, and I don't know if it's lastly, but on the monthly time frame chart, you have a TD9 count bottom that's going to complete this month, the month of October. So if you're asking, are there bottoms? The answer is the weekly, likely, won't know till Friday. The monthly, absolutely. The daily, yes, looks like it uh, has a bottom because price pulled back that level of support. Steve, just holding fully paid for long term. Got go big or go bust. Well, I don't see the go bust signal out here inside of Saba, and it, uh, it looks nice. So if we take a look at consecutive moves higher and lower out here, we take a look at Saba. Today is going to become bar number three of a move higher. So this tells us we should prepare for a likely retracement out here in Saba. Dan, uh, we can see that typically it's a two to three bar move higher. There are a couple of four consecutive moves, such as the one from back on uh, May the 11th. There was a four bar move into April the 3rd. There was even a five bar move into March 16th. But you are getting close to where this is likely to back off a bit out there. But again, you're into it long term. But yes, on the intermediate, the monthly, even the daily, you've got bottom signals out there. So all looks good. I hope that that answered your question. If not, please let me know and I'll be happy to try to find that answer for you. Let's go to our next request. This is coming in from the Tiger's Den. It is from Fletch. And Fletch is looking for an entry into Boeing. BA is a ticker symbol. So Boeing negated a TD9 count bottom a couple of days ago. There is an A to B equals CD to the downside. So what you'd be looking for here, Fletch, would be a bullish reversal candle. We don't have one as we speak at 1134. And maybe we're not going to get one. I do see a wave number seven pattern that has been confirmed. But I would say in order for that pattern to be confirmed to tell you that there's any kind of bottom, price is going to have to clear that oscillator and change line. On a daily basis, if I were to ask you this question, how important do you think that oscillator and change line is? And the answer, that's right, muy grande. It is very important, very important out here. And that's currently printed at 191.71. Remember, as price moves up and down, that number is going to change out there. I teach you how to uh, calculate the oscillator and change. I even put that on your charts if you've got some some programming prowess out there. It's a really great tool. But don't believe me. Believe yourself. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you're only going to form bar number seven this week. You've got A to B equals C to the downside. Boeing may be targeting or moving towards 132.21 level. I'm not saying it's going to get there. What I am saying is probably going to get back to the 181.21 level. That is the bottom of its monthly profile, which price is trading within as we speak right now. Let me populate these these charts see what they say um, not really much other than that other than we're trading below red oscillator and change line 
you remember when you trade below red oscillator and change line for whatever time frame it is you're looking at, tells you about a falling price oscillator below zero. And then we have to answer the question, where's the next level of support? Well, that next level would be 181.21. So, yes, you've got a wave seven pattern. It's kind of weak out there. It'll stay weak unless price gets above that oscillator and change line. I know you're looking for an entry point. Right now, I'd be more comfortable telling you around 181.21 would be the area. But if you see a daily bullish reversal candle, that would give you a buy the D point pattern from the daily time frame chart out there. So, Fletch, I hope that that helped you out. And uh, please write back to me as price uh, gets down towards that target area or if you see a bullish reversal signal out there. The next request coming from Dizzle inside the Tiger's Den. Dizzle wants to take a look at profile levels for silver. So he didn't tell me what time period. So we're just simply going to pull up all of my multi time frame charts for silver. Let's assume that it was the daily time frame. Well, the daily time frame is actually trying to form a new profile. I don't think I can get that to appear. Let me just try this here. Let me just see what setting I've got on this as we speak right now. Uh, nope, so I can't get it to appear here. So right now on silver, 23.32, all the way up there is a uh, is its profile level. So price is well below that. It's below red oscillator and change line. It is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count today. And that says that silver could form a TD9 count between today and Friday out there. You have wave number seven that's in place out here. You need a higher low to confirm that pattern. You were asking for profile levels. On my other charts, just want to take a look real quickly here. Silver, December, Z23. So I'm getting doing this on my black background charts, which had earlier showed a new profile that was attempting to form. That profile has now gone away at the moment. On a monthly basis, prices below profiles. The next area of support on a monthly basis is down at 1916 for silver. Of course, there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. And if we get a bullish reversal candle on the weekly time frame, that would confirm a Gartley buy pattern. So the next level of profile support would be 1950. And that's coming from the monthly time frame out there. So if you're looking for profile support, it just doesn't exist. That doesn't mean we're not going to see a bottom form between today and Friday out here. Of course, what would be helpful, uh, Dizzle, is to see the U.S. dollar index confirm a top, close below that green oscillator and change line, see the euro trade above and close above its red oscillator and change line, say the, see the same thing for the uh, Great British Pound. And that would then give us the, uh, the at least the energy behind a potential move higher inside of silver. But that first target would be that oscillator and change line on the way up. And that is in that 22, 28 level as we speak right now. So Dizzle, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for as well. And we'll go on to our next question. That next question coming from David H. And David, uh, is, let me get to his question came in by email. So first, let me get to the charts. See where I put it. I think I put, and it's a, it's a ABGO is what we're going to take. Look at Broadcom. But let me read the question out here. It says, Steve, oh, why don't I just do that when we get back from this breakout here? Steve Rhodes with TFN. The question goes like this. Give me your analysis of Broadcom. I've got the 800 puts expiring on October 20th. Thanks, David from Panama City. Let's go figure out where Broadcom is headed to. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, 
you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts here for Broadcom right now. If we take a look at the daily time frame, what we know is price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. It is trading below its red oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 827.07. So the very first thing that we can share with you, David, is that only a price closes above that 827 level, would that suggest a, at least a run for 835? With price below that area, we're still trading with inside its swing point. That's the swing point from September 21st. Volume there, 5.3 million shares. Yesterday, you closed inside it with 1.8 million shares. So price is pulling back, but it's trading into that area with lighter volume out here. So be careful there. On a weekly chart, what we see is prices trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. It has done so for the last two weeks out there. That's suggesting a change in trend and an eventual move towards the 601.29 level. Watch 833.53. If price closes back above that, well, then that might be generating a different piece of information for us. On the monthly time frame, the monthly time frame has got the best top out there. It's a TD9 count and rose momentum indicator top. Again, two tops don't make a big difference here. But the key area here is that 801.45 is support. I know you've got the 800 puts out there that expire in a couple of weeks. Watch that 801.45. That is a key level of support. You're really going to need to see price break below that, close below that. And if we do get that, then we're looking at lower price out here when we take a look at Broadcom. What else can I assist David with when it comes to Broadcom? You know, I've got a 10-minute chart. Let me just see if there's anything out here worth paying attention to. On a 10-minute basis, this was at uh, 1550 yesterday, 350 in the afternoon. You got a nice roadsman ind indicator bottom. Why did price stop where it did? Uh, my best uh, answer to that is going to be that daily oscillator and change line. Just simply too difficult for it to handle as we speak right now. So David, I hope that that provided you with the information that you were looking for as well on Broadcom. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. The next request coming in from somebody inside the Tiger Center, I forgot to put down the name, but the request was to take a look at TGB out here. And those are the charts that we've got up on the screen. And I believe it was looking for an entry point, if I'm not mistaken. So what we're looking for here is a bottom signal on the daily time frame for Taseco Mines. Turns out that yesterday was the completion of a TD nine count pattern. That was you, Rye. OK, so now the only way this is going to give you a buy signal with regard to the TD nine count pattern would be a close back above yesterday's low. So the level to be watching at day's end is going to be 118. We're trading right now at 117. So this is telling us that there is no bottom at at this stage here. Price, on the other hand, on a weekly basis, is testing a swing point. That's a swing point that could generate a very large A to B equals CD to the downside if price were to close below $1.18. And that $1.18 level, there were 4.2 million shares generated that week. 
This week so far, we're at 1.7 million shares out there. We're about halfway through the week. So you're coming into that level with lighter volume, or so it appears. But nonetheless, still watch that 118 level. We are trading one penny below that. If we close below that, that sets up an A to B equals CD to the downside. It's a pretty big one. We won't go there just yet because we don't know whether we're going to get a close below that 118 level. On a monthly time frame, price is pulling back right now into its bullish structured support zone. That zone runs from 104 to 119, 104 to 119. What that basically means here is you're pulling back into a support zone. You'd like to see the weekly chart hold that uh, uh, swing point with lighter volume and then get a bullish reversal candle or a uh, or just simply the TD9 count bottom to hold. In order to do that again, you need a close above 18. Well, a close at 118 would still do it, but you'd prefer a close above 118 today in order to get you in order to maintain that buy signal. Is that making sense? Let me just resummarize. You've got a potential buy pattern because it formed a TD9 count bottom yesterday. If price closed below that low, that pattern is off the table. Um, but if it does hold, then because price is testing a prior weekly swing point with lighter volume, that's kind of a slightly bullish message out there. And then we're pulling into bullish profile support out there. So that's what I'd be watching. And if that TD9 count bottom fails, we're looking more like a buck four or perhaps worse than that. So, Rye, thanks for letting me know that that was you that had asked that question. I hope that that answered, in fact, your questions out there. The next question coming in from the Tiger's Den, that's coming in from G Motion. And uh, his question is about Apple. As we take a look at Apple right now, what it's dealing with is that oscillator and change line at 172.14. You close below that, odds favor a move back to test that swing point that formed a few days ago on September 28th. Now, that swing point inside of Apple did volume of 56 million shares. Today so far, we pulled back, we've tested, we're 21 million shares. So it's got similar type volume out here. Do we have any kind of a pattern? We don't. Now, Apple could form an A to B equals CD to the upside, believe it or not, if price were to take out the 174.30 level and if it could do that with more than 52 million shares. Is it possible that Apple is bottomed? What we don't have is a bottoming pattern on the daily time frame. At least I don't think we do. Let me just expand this chart out. No, we don't. Because the A to B equals CD pattern out here would have to look like this. It would look just like this. We're going to draw the A to B point. There's your A to B I just simply try to copy, paste, and assemble. That's what a, a CPA is really good at. We'll just see how good I am at that. Ah, not very good, apparently. Apparently, I need to go back to class out here. What is going on with my system? I'm having some trouble here with the, uh, there we go, with the uh, mouse or the keyboard. Oh, I'm still having that trouble. All right, so we're going to go with plan B out here with regard to Apple. Uh, so if I would just simply move this to the uh, C point, which was that TD9 count top, the yeah, Apple's got a little bit further to go in order to complete that one to one A to B equals CD. So no daily bottom when we take a look at Apple out here, G Motion. But on a weekly basis, we do. We've got a, a Rosemont indicator top and price found support where it should have, which is a breakout level 170.42. Now, if price closes below 170.42, uh, we're likely headed down towards the 147 level. 147 happens to be the bottom of its new profile. This new profile on a monthly basis that formed last month out there. So back to the uh, Apple charts out here. Don't have a really warm and fuzzy with regard to Apple on its daily time frame. No new profile or anything along those lines. And it has not completed a pattern out there. But we understand why the weekly has held price up at this stage because price pulled back to its breakout level. So I hope that helps you out. By the way, that one-to-one -one completion zone would get you down to 163.71 to be exact. So G-Motion, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for. Drew inside the Tigers then wants to take a look at brain salad surgery. That is ISRG, intuitive surgery out here. Um, I don't recall what Drew was looking for. Maybe it was a bottom. I'm not sure. But as we take a look at Intuitive Surgical for its daily time frame, it has triggered a Rosemont indicator signal. Much like Hector and Patty were asking, when you've com completed A to B equals CD, how many days are there? A certain number of days uh, uh, before you know that it needs to form that bullish reversal candle. And the answer to that question was no. The same thing with Rosemont indicator signal. You just need a bullish reversal signal. So if we were to get that. That would confirm a Rosemont indicator bottom. Price on intuitive surgical is trading back into a swing point. 
This is the swing point that existed from uh, September 12th. The volume there was 2 million shares. So far today, what you have done is uh, 239,000 shares. So pulling back with light volume. There's another swing point that is also testing. That's the one from back here on August the 21st. That swing point at volume of 1.7 million shares. A test and rejection of that high, 268, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 286, 88. Means you'd have to close above that, 286, 88 could be a bottom signal inside of intuitive surgical because it's saying, telling you you can't bust out the lows it doesn't have enough volume out there on the weekly time frame we'll take a look at the weekly and the monthly we'll get back from this break this is the last request that i have that i know of steve Rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the charts here for Intuitive Surgical on a weekly basis. It's trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. I don't know if it'll close below that on Friday, but if it did, and that bottom of that profile is out of 290.06, you need to see a second consecutive close below that next week 
to tell you that, okay, this thing is uh, likely headed lower. The other thing it needs to do is take out the swing point from August 21st. Now, the volume on that swing point is 7.7 .7 million shares. If price gets below that, closes below that, that's 282.50, then you'd have an A to B equals CD to the downside on the weekly basis. On a monthly time frame, price is just consolidating with inside its monthly profile. It's below its green asset and change line. tells us it's lost momentum. So watch the daily chart out here first. That's the most important one right now. If you get a bullish reversal candle, you'd get a road momentum indicator bottom, and that would uh, or should take price up towards the 306, 310 area. To finish out the show, we're going to go take a look at Mosaic, MOS. Uh, and uh, Mosaic out here right now is testing its second breakout level on a daily basis at 33.69. There's no bottom signal that we have. We do see an A to B equals CD pattern. Let's just try to draw on at least the A to B leg out here. What the heck? Oh, I've got to do it on the right chart. Okay, so here's A to B. I'm just going to simply move that over to the C point out there. That would be right here. And so you need a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. The weekly chart shows that price is trading below profile right now and into a swing point from June 2nd. That swing point has volume of 24 million shares. This so far this week has done 7 million shares. So you are pulling back with lighter volume. Nonetheless, if you close inside that swing, and to close inside that swing would be below 33.67 at week's end, odds favor. You're still going to go down and test that low. So that's what's going on inside of Mosaic. Folks, thanks so much for all the requests out there. Please stay tuned for all the great program we've got lined up for you. I'll be back with you on Terrific Thursday. Please have a wonderful Wednesday. Be safe out there.